<laughs> Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and I have for you guys an awesome episode of the brand new world in Siege World. It's called Wizards vs. Dragons. That's right, Wizards vs. Dragons has finally dropped, and I chose to be on Wizards myself, but it's not just me playing it this season. This season is going to be absolutely insane. Pretty much in a list I have next to me, let me just read off this list to you guys of all the YouTubers that are involved in this, because it's going to be nuts. Right now, on Team Wizards, we have myself, No Boom, Creeper Farts, Choco, Tofu Gaming, D Field Mark, Pizza Hut, and Kara, and Ashy Marie Gaming versus the Dragons team, which is Mitch, Landed, King Tong, Gracer10, Kenworth Gaming, Kenny, uh, Huahi, Hypercraft, and Nooch. So these are the teams. It's going to be an insane season. So hop on with us at any point in time. Join us. Link in the description to where you can play Siege World for yourself. I'm pumped. Once again, Wizards vs. Dragons. Let's go. Let's do this. And I'm going to talk to the King of Wizards. Get my welcome gear just like that. And let's see what else we have. All right. So it looks like we got some basic, basic materials here. SP player. So we have no real essence, timber, or treasure. But we did get all of our gear. So I'm going to throw our welcome gear on just like that. And let's talk to him real quick and see. Now to purchase a home, we need 100 essence. 1,000 timber and 2,500 treasure. So what better a way to do this than to go ahead and do slash warp over to the kingdom market and we can go ahead and just start collecting all of our wonderful, wonderful things. So it's really cool. Once again, the entire map is themed like Wizards and Dragons, including all enchants, special kits as well, just crazy things like that. I'm also, I'm going to be getting a kit, not this episode, but the following episode. So hopefully very soon I'll have a kit and you guys will be like, oh my God, Jerome, you're beautiful. Okay, so luckily for this season, there are a bunch of changes. And one of my favorites is I got Slash Nick. So you might notice people aren't exactly following around me like crazy anymore it kind of gives us a little bit more of anonymity and uh, allows us to just kind of play the game naturally so you might not see the youtubers out there other times i might take the nickname off like i know i'm personally going to take my nickname off a lot of the times i'm doing war zone type raids but uh we are ready to go and i i'm, I'm just pumped right now so the first thing i'm going to do after warping the war zone i realized is i don't have a stone pickaxe which means honestly i probably should warp to the wilderness and try and just go ahead dig down get some stones so i get myself a stone pickaxe and even a stone hatchet as well so that I can collect any kind of like cords of wood that I find because you can find them in 500 barrels with the jukeboxes which recently received a new retexture and also to my knowledge I haven't fully seen it just yet but apparently apparently the wizards vs dragons landscape is absolutely wild I mean I'm talking like thousands and thousands of blocks wild so yeah, that apparently has happened. Uh, I don't know when that happened or why, but it's going to be absolutely, positively awesome. And Oh, we're stuck in this pit now. How we got to get out of here? We got to get out of the pit. Let me out of the pit. Let me out of the pit. Here we go. Digging up with the dirt. There we go. Plant these down. And now we can go ahead and collect some wood. And unfortunately, I'm not going to sell the wood off at first. I got to build it into a crafting table just so we can get... Um, well, just so we can get ourselves a stone pickaxe. And then from there, we'll get iron. Then we can get the iron pickaxe rolling. And we'll just keep teleporting back and forth until we're ready to go. I'm basically showing you guys how to turbo build your home. It's, it's pretty much what I'm doing here. Oh, actually, we got, already got the stone. I don't know why I built a wood. Why did I build that second wooden pickaxe? That was really dumb. All right, so let's do slash warp. We can even do... Yeah, we'll do kingdom market. We just need three iron, and we can warp back to the wilderness. Uh oh, we just mounted it. Oh, we tried doing it underneath the tree. I was like, what the heck? We bopped our head on the tree, though. That was a little sad. I don't know. We didn't have to bop a Baca's head like that, but that's fine. All right, so we're heading over here now. And uh, let's look around. Do, 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 do. Is there any iron anywhere? There's no iron anywhere. Huh. Okay, well, there's gold over there. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Let's keep looking around. There should be iron around here. Ooh, there's essence right there in that lamppost. There we go, we'll grab some essence, because we do need 100 essence to get this going as well. So, essence helps too. And look how beautiful all these flowers are here, man. I love this new landscape. It looks great. <gasps> timber, timber, no way, no way. Yes, we just got 500 timber from that single one. Oh, that's epic. Look at all that, all that timber as well. That's why you have to explore your kingdom, because there's random hidden timber all around your kingdom grounds, just like that. So we just got 650 timber. I can't remember, is it 1,000 timber and 2,500 treasure to get the house, or was it the opposite way of that? I don't know, but I think it might have only been 1,000 timber. So I think we 
literally almost got all the timber we could possibly need and there we go as you can tell the marketplace has also just been made to have a lot more resources in it than it used to so you'll have a much easier time getting your initial resources in your house or if you prefer to spend time mining in this area too you'll just have access to a lot more resources overall so pretty much it's made a lot better that's basically what i'm getting at here there we go let's keep mining all these woods up there we go keep getting all these little saplings here oh my god 890 Jeez, we are just going in on the wood here. All right, we got 1,000. Now let me do warp to the throne room ultra quick because I am curious. I don't remember once again if it was 1,000 timber and 2,500 treasure or vice versa, what the case was. Let's see. To purchase a home, it is 1,000 timber. So we have all the timber that we possibly need for this home. Amazing. We're incredible. Now all we need to do is treasure. So let's warp to said wilderness. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. That way we can build a crafting table that we can throw the iron down and I guess get ourselves an iron pickaxe. Oh my god! We got a lot of wood. We got a lot of wood from that. Okay. Where did we get all that wood? Did someone drop that on the ground? I don't know how we got all that wood, but someone must have dropped that on the ground. Okay, so we got all that going. Let's go ahead and craft some more sticks. Iron pickaxe. Boom, boom. And then let me just slash shell because we don't need all this extra wood. I don't know... Where can we? We just need one to build a diamond pickaxe. There we go. Can we sell that? Okay. And we've got 492 timber for that. Fantastic. Trophy unlocked. Merchant. All right. We're off to a great start so far. So we got the iron pickaxe now. Now we can head back to the kingdom market. We can go ahead and collect the resources that we need. Honestly, I'm going to go get the diamond pickaxe. Teleport one more time out. Once again, I'm like doing like a turbo guide almost to building your house in about 10 minutes flat. I, I bet you I can build a house in like 10 minutes flat in this. There we go. Got some gold right here. Some gold. Grab the diamond there. Gold. We need one more diamond, and then we can build the diamond pickaxe. Extra lickety quick. There we go. Now, of course, iron is really cheap. It's really all about getting the gold and diamond. Gold sells for 25 each. Diamond sells for 100 each. Uh, the iron's only 5 each, so the iron's kind of negligible, if anything. So you can just you can mine it up if you want, but there we go. Just keep on going with it. And all oh, the guys going to the backfield there, they know about my top secret timber mine back there well now you guys know too so if you're looking to get some quick like 600 something timber that's it just run back there you got, i think it was 650 so that's always good oh my god essence can we get our emerald no because our pickaxe isn't good enough we can't get the emerald all right slash toggle pms because i'm getting a ton of things like that Let's slash warp let's go to a wilderness there we go. Oh, no, 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 not wilderness yet. No, cancel, cancel. There we go, shift click to cancel. I just realized we're down one diamond on when we can get there. So here we go. Now we can slash warp to said wilderness. Here we go. And build the diamond pickaxe and start mining quicker. Get ourselves some emerald. Emerald is 500 treasure each. So very basically, emerald is one of the best things you can get. It, it's awesome. It is absolutely positively, totally awesome. There we go, crafting table. Don't mind if I snag you up. Let's go, dragons! Uh, I think Wizards is gonna win, Mitch. I'm sorry. That's See, here's the thing. Mitch thinks he's gonna win, but the fact that he's up here right now and not playing the game, I think it means he's gonna lose. He's not, he's not devoting enough time. So be sure you join Wizards. Remember, we got a huge list of YouTubers here, and I'm gonna join them in a little bit, most likely. I'm gonna see which ones of them wanna join me for some Warzone raids. So after I get my house, I'll join in with the other YouTubers, or at least a couple of them, do a couple of Warzone fun activities, and upgrade like a mill or two at my house, and then, uh, you know, just so I can collect resources while I'm AFK, and you know, just chilling at my house. And apart from that, that's, that's pretty much the big thing. Oh, no one got it. There we go. We just took 500 emerald points. That was 500 treasure right there. Literally, because no one wanted to get that emerald. Or either that or no one did what I did and built a diamond pickaxe. Oh my god, there's no one here. My guess is people aren't building quick enough. I don't think they're collecting their diamond and teleporting out to the wilderness because they think it's tedious. But honestly, do it. Because as you can see, I just got a free 1,000 treasure pretty much because people were too lazy to teleport into like different areas. Like I, I don't know what more to say about it. I think that's literally what just occurred there. So that's, you know... Kind of a little bit on the weird side, but that's fine. That's fine. There we go. Remember, everybody, you get some oak wood from that. So we slash shell, timber, boom, shakalaka, slash shell. And look at that. We're getting all the resources uber quick. And I don't get it. I'm nicknamed right now, so I don't know how these people know I am who I am. I guess it popped up in chat or something, or I don't know how they know that I'm the Baka. Oh, diamonds right here, diamonds. Come on, give me this one. Yes, we took that diamond from him. And hopefully this emerald respawns here in a sec. All right, so let's look around real quick. Um... 
What do we got here? Waiting for this emerald. The emerald's still not back yet. How is the emerald still not back yet? Oh, let me grab some gold. There we go. Gold -a -roo. Do to do to do. What else we can get? I keep grabbing this essence as well. I don't really need it at the moment, but it's always good. Oh, the daily lottery. I forgot about this. Go over to the witch every day for the daily lottery. She'll set up a thing for you, and you'll never know what you're going to get. You get one of nine choices daily. Pick one you want. Let's pick that one. No way. We just got a 1,000 treasure reward, which means we are extremely close. Actually, wasn't it only... It was 2,500. Oh my god, we are beyond close already to just going ahead and unlocking the house. Literally, because we just did that. That is so cool. And then I'm also going to show you guys where to do the daily... Uh, daily. It's not the daily lottery, but pretty much you go to your kingdom manager, and there's a slime guy waiting for you. When you talk to him, he'll give you free, free glory points every single day, which you can use to speed up bills and stuff like that. It's really awesome. So I'll show you guys exactly where you can get that from. Uh, definitely, definitely go check that out. You can do both daily. So daily lottery from her to get resources. Well, I've gotten 15,000 timber one time before too, which is pretty hype. Uh, and then not only that, oh, well, that guy didn't have a good enough pickaxe to get that emerald. So I just stole it from him. Oh, there's emerald back here. Let me grab that one too. We'll get extra, extra emerald. And then we're rolling. We're rolling in it now after that. Boom, shagalaka. We are good to go. So let's sell this off and we will head on over to our friend, Mr. Throne Room Kingdom Manager himself there we go and oh i just realized i'm covering up a little bit of the scoreboard with my webcam actually let's move that right there there we go <laughs> i love how i can just mid video shift my webcams like whoa spooky ghost all right what else can we do here um oh the king here we go and purchase a home and we just type in chat six zero six two two confirm and now we have a bed so we can go to the wilderness build ourselves a house anytime and we are good to go but i'm going to show you guys how you can get yourself one free glory each and every day all right so really cool now that we got our house where you pick up your glory points from you teleport to the kingdom entrance take a right immediately uh and then you run through here and once you're at the very end of this long long hallway you'll eventually run across a nice nice person who's willing to give you right here look at that and by person i mean the glorious slime right click on him and boom shakalaka we just got one free glory isn't that nice so we got one extra glory so now we have 11 total glory we can use on our house for building but let's get ready let's build that house like i told you guys and in about 10 minutes flat we were able to build a house it really is that easy like it's super easy a lot of people get turned off by it. they think it takes forever or maybe they just don't know exactly how to collect resources ultra click but now you can impress your friends if they play on the server because you can just be like hey look how quickly i can build this and boom shagalaka we are building a house i built it on slope here because i always find it cool the animation from when it destroys it look see it just kind of levels the land like that i always love that so it just kind of levels it gets it all down to a peaceful nice little point look how cool that looks so i always like to build mine on the side of mountains that's just just a personal note i mean you guys don't have to listen to it obviously you don't need to but house takes a little bit of time to construct here so pretty much for this part i'm just gonna fast forward through this so i'm gonna show you guys the construction in fast forward mode and leave it to that Okay, so our house is finished being constructed. We can head inside right now and go and talk to our kingdom manager. So there we go, achievement, no longer a hermit. And here's our house manager right here. Hello, Mr. House Manager. How is it going? There's also a book of tips and tricks. So if you're ever confused at any point in time, you can research that and it'll basically give you all the possible information that you need. So we have rooms and farms. Now, first things first, I always go for farms because that's how you'll get resources even while you're offline. So these guys will naturally just generate resources for you. So there we go. We now have a timber farm being built. It'll take three minutes for that build to be completed. So that's always good. Uh, let's go back to SB player. There we go. We got our little player thing here. And what do we need now? to build house upgrades let's see farms and iron mine now we need the mill but we also need to get 500 more timber before we can do it so while we're here in our little kingdom i'm going to run out here and collect the rest of the timber just so we can get the iron mine going as soon as the timber one's done that way we have both treasure and timber being collected now it is going to take a long time by the way if you're curious in order to get yourself prepared like in a position where you can go ahead and get essence because i think you need to build i could be wrong i think you need to build a diamond mine first in your house so you need to go iron gold then you know timber iron gold then diamond and then you can get the essence mine so it takes a little bit of time just warning you all now so here we go we got 13 14 we just need two more 15 and the big 16 a room slash shell and 
Boom shakalaka, 160 timber. Now we can afford the iron mine as soon as the timber one is done. So let's see. Can we can we get it? Are you allowed to? No, it needs to be fully constructed first. Okay, so we have that real quick. It's going. Oh, that's our walls. Where's the? No, no. House upgrades. Con queued constructions. There we go. One minute and 14 seconds left. So we're going to wait for that, then get the iron mine constructed, and then I'm most likely going to go into the war zone and play with my teammates and try and get as many resources as possible by the end of this episode. Who knows? Maybe even... Let me check real quick, because we can afford the iron one already. How much would a gold one cost? 1,500 timber and 5,000 treasure. It's not impossible, but it would definitely be difficult. I might go for something crazy. I don't know. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Okay, so our timber mill is finally being built. So there we go. That's looking mighty beautiful there. Let's top that building off. Come on. Come on. Finish your construction. There we go. Get down and dirty with it, building. And let's see where to go. Is it done? It's done. We got the mill built. The mill has been built. And now we can go ahead and go to farms, get the iron mine going. And this one, I believe, takes... 30 minutes to construct, so it's not going to be done by the end of this episode, that's for sure. But we'll have an iron miner for next episode, and periodically as well, I did this last season, I'm going to sign on throughout the day, collect resources and stuff, and start upgrading my house and my rooms as well, so that, that way you guys don't have to see all the grindy parts, but mostly I'll just upgrade farms off camera. So on camera, mostly rooms. Uh, uh, off camera, mostly farms. Just to kind of, so you guys don't have to wait for all that. But there we go. Five resources per minute. Not a bad gig. I mean, all things considered, not a bad gig at all. But now, we are a lot of resources short of this gold mine that's coming up next. So we're going to have to do something fancy here. Just to show you guys once again, right here, the gold mine. 1,500 timber, 5,000 treasure. We only have 2 timber and 235 treasure. It's going to be a doozy. Let me see if any of my friends want to help me out in the war zone. All right, unfortunately, I couldn't get a hold of anyone on my team. So we're going to take matters into our own hands, and we are going to be warping straight to the war zone. Now in the future, I'm going to be hitting up my teammates for different episodes. So my goal is to try and maybe do an episode with a different person each day, at least for the first couple of them. You know, after that, when I have to do the grindy stuff, I might just go ahead and take care of it myself. But we're heading out into the war zone. And this time around, there is... Oh, the mine was just lost. I really want the treasure mine, though. Because, oh, we need that. It's at 47x and negative 534y. So we got to go... Oh my god. That is so far away. Oh, wait. No, wait. I missed... Yeah, it's 47. Oh, my God. So, we have to go to 530. That's not far in that axis, but we're over 600 blocks off in the other one. So, in the meantime, let's hope we don't come across anybody in the war zone now. And while we're out here as well, we can go ahead and start mining for some random resources that may or may not be placed all throughout the land. So that's the thing. You got to keep your eyes peeled. A lot of times there's treasure sitting around, but if we want to hit anywhere near our goal, which is 5,000 treasure by the end of this thing, we're going to we're going to need to do something crazy. We're going to need to do something a little bit insano drano. But let's take a look. We got for 47 and once again 534. So we should be at the Z axis fairly soon actually. Just the X axis is going to take a while. I'll keep running in this direction diagonally like this. You know, I think this, this will probably get us there quickly. Okay, so we found a mountain that appears to have ores on it along the way. So I'm going to... Oh, there's emerald up there. No way. So this is why I always check out the war zone areas like this and just kind of explore around because you might find random just cool areas that have tons of resources. Like the tippity top of this mountain. How random is that? And we just found an emerald worth 500. A lot of gold, some diamond as well. This literally, this looting run right here is going to get us... Right now, about a thousand treasure, and it's still going on. Who knows? There might even be more diamonds up here, too. I doubt I doubt heavily they'd have two emeralds on a single mountaintop, but at the same time, you really never know. There's another emerald here. Oh, my God. Well, you guys know my coordinates right now. I have a bad feeling because I put my coordinates up there that starting next episode, this is going to be a hotly contested area. I have a really strong feeling about that, actually. People are going to be running here like crazy, and you know what? I don't blame them, either. This is absolutely ludicrous oh my god there's more resources on this side more diamond here i just i just leave all the iron i never mind the iron personally maybe you do uh, let me know actually in the comment section do you guys mine iron or do you guys just kind of let it go i mean i don't know personally i just let it go i'm not really i don't see the point in uh oh slash shell is that oh that's a wizard you may not sell in the war zone either. When did they change that? Right, That's intimidating. That's scary. That means we have to bring our haul back alive. So depending on how much we get here. So we have one that or we have, what is that? That's two. Oh my God. Actually, we have a good amount there. We have 250 gold. We have 1,000 diamond worth. And then we also have 1,000 emerald worth as well. And we're still going. That's 2,000 total. It's not half bad. Honestly. 
I think I at first I was doubtful. I was very doubtful at first of our capabilities of getting 5,000 treasure. But considering the fact that no one at all is at this magical mountain of miningness, I think we're going to be able to do it very quickly. So I'm definitely, after we're done looting this mountain, I'm going to, oh my god, there's an emerald here too. There's another emerald. There's literally another emerald. This puts us at an absurd level. With emeralds and diamonds alone, we now have 3,000. So, yeah, do with that as you want. But that is something not to be neglected for sure. So there we go, grab some more diamonds. The gold's not really helping too much with it. It's mostly just the diamonds and emeralds that are stacking up our score here. Here we go, mine this up. Oh my god. We can get an iron mine, and after that, then I'm definitely, definitely going to rush the mining center control point. At least at the end of this episode, just to try and see if I can hold my own. Who knows? I'm kind of curious. I'll scout it out to see, like, how many players are there, what the case is, because you never know. Sometimes they might just leave it all alone. And, oh my god, our team lost the lumber mill. Let me do slash SB control points. I'm kind of curious. Wow, so they, dragons own treasure, and they are about to take timber completely. At least we own Essence still, but this early on in the game, no one really needs Essence. That's a problem. Like, this super early in the game, no one actually needs Essence. It just kind of is there, but it's not like a necessity for anybody. All right, there we go. Let's keep going here. So this mount uh, total, I believe, has three emeralds is what the end total came down to. So that's really good. That's really good to keep tabs on. And, oh, the emerald is back. There we go. So 2,000 uh, treasure in emerald fees. We have 2,300 in diamond. And I believe in gold, we're about to get there as well. Let's uh, make sure of that real quick. And then we can head back. And honestly, might want to change our course then. Now we got all this, we can change our course and just go straight for the timber aspect of getting the iron mine. So we might just run for the, for the timber control point. In fact, I think I'm definitely going to run for the timber control point after this because we have everything else we could possibly ever need, really. Realistically speaking, anyway, looking at this, we are all good. Let me take down this F3 here. And I guess... Yeah, we're gonna, oh, let me just get this emerald, and then we're definitely, we're good. We got everything we can eat, so slash warp, let's go back home. And that right there, everybody, is a good example of how running to the war zone to loot things, as long as you find good areas that no one's in, and you get yourself in a secure place. Take a look at that, now we're home, we're safe. Let's go slash sell, sell off all this jazzaroo, and actually, we'll save three diamonds, um... You know what? I don't want to, I don't want to, oh, can I, can I not? Okay, there we go. I didn't want to sell all of them because these three diamonds are pretty much all we have left if we lose them to make another diamond pickaxe. I'm bringing the diamond pickaxe back out there again. So we're going to bring that out with us. We got all this good stuff. And now let's see real quick, just to make sure again, to make the farm for the gold mine, it is, where is it? It's 5,000 treasure. We got that and 1,500 timber is all we're missing. So we need... Either the timber control point for a short bit of time, or we just need something that can get the uh, cords of wood for us. So, pretty much, that means if we find any cords of wood at the uh, war zone, they're 500 each. So, technically, we can look out for those, too. Uh, let's bring it along with us. We need a pickaxe. I mean, we need the hatchet if we want to go ahead to get any of those things. So, pretty much, if you want the wood, you need to actually bring a hatchet to get them. So, there is that much. You can't just break it with your hands anymore. So, we're bringing the hatchet with us, and we're going right off to the war zone. And this time, we're changing our coordinates point where we're going. We are going to be going to go for... Where is it? Um, looks like tr timber. Timber is negative 231, negative 1235. Wow. This war zone is giant. So, negative 1235... Uh, so we just go diagonally in this direction then, and we'll eventually get there. All right, everybody. So we are nearing in on the timber control point. Here it is. It's right around this area here. So get ready. And it turns out our team also just took over the timber control point from them. So we came at the perfect timing because it's going to be reset right now. And once it's reset, it'll basically give us 25 timber per second. So we're literally coming at the perfect time to help take this over. And oh, is that guy with us or? I don't know, but oh my God. Wait, are these guys good or bad? They're good. Okay, why was he shooting? I mean, he scared me there. Luckily, we have two kitted players in because we have one hiding and this guy too. Two kitted players defending this zone, which is absolutely epic. And look, a friend of Rooney's just giving us free resource. I mean, all right. Thank you, friend Mudkip. Thank you, friend Mudkip. There we go. Well, we're taking over the zone. Even though my, I'm chat, I'm nicknamed a Siege Lol. I guess because I have Siege in my name, people just assume 
I, I'm part of Siege World. Maybe they don't know I'm Jerome ASF, and they must just assume I'm part of Siege World or something. But either way, we're getting timber like crazy right now. 25 timber a second. Every minute that'll lower to 24 a second, then 23 a second, then 22 a second. But by then, the damage is basically already done. Like, look how fast our timber's going up. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to save up Wait here for just a little bit. We needed at least, I think it was 1,000 timber or 1,500 timber. I don't really remember to get the iron or the gold mine. I literally, I gotta start paying more attention. I think it was 1,500. So we're gonna get like 2,500 total. That way we can get that running and we can also get an armory running because, you know, even though I normally like to go for the mills first, we got so many resources in this first episode. We need an armory because in the future, then we can build or gather more, uh, what's it called? More armor and stuff so we can go to the war zone, compete against players, kill them off, and just good things will happen. And uh oh, someone's shooting. Is that okay? I was just a friendly guy. Thank God. Hello, friendly guy. I'm so glad we have some kitted players already on Wizards, ready to go and protect us. That's so epic. You are the man. Who is that? The fluffy something. What's his name? I, I can't even see it. Why does he stand on the point here to collect resources? I wonder... I guess he's not concerned about resources really too much. I guess he just wants to kill people. So he's probably... I guess, I guess that's it. But GG either way, man. This is absolutely epic. So, we'll be right back. Hey, oh, Dad. Hey, Miller, son. <laughs> hey, 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 daughter. How's it going? <laughs> Wait, so we literally just chill here and we're getting 18 timber per second. Yeah, pretty much. The thing is, it go every Dang. minute it goes down by one per second. And usually people will come in and swoop in and like, try and kill you. But, yeah, for now it's been There's good. nobody here. <laughs> yeah, yeah there, just chill. When you I first got here, there was like two people, there? but... Uh, there's, so there's one timber, one treasure, one essence, and that's it. So this is the only one on the map. Oh, okay. So depending on what we need, I think essence are probably, uh, essence is probably the hardest thing to get, right? So the essence mind control would probably, probably be the highly contested. Yeah, yeah the essence is the hardest to get, but it's not useful until later in the game. Cause you use it for like enchantments, potions, like things that you don't even have access to right now. So ah, and basically okay. the first couple of like episodes, no one really cares, but then like day four and five come around and it's like the top thing to get. Oh, oh dang. God, I'm so shivering now, in my seat. When it comes to crafting, <laughs> when it comes to crafting diamond armor, do we craft that manually or is it through the armorer uh, in, at our house? It's uh, through the blacksmith. So once you build the armory and get it all the way maxed out, you can build the blacksmith who's even better and he builds iron, diamond gear and stuff like that. So oh. you yeah, and he also oh sells gosh, swords boys. that have one enchantment on them too. Usually comes with like lightning strike enchantments, but some other cool stuff too. Oh, yeah, dude, we, started, we started recording earlier and then Ant's like in the wars and he's like, I'm getting smited, what the heck? Smited or something, it was weird. <laughs> oh man. Easy peasy. All right, so let's just control this. Yeah. Point, boys. Wait. So what happens if it gets like super low, or is there a point where it stops getting lower? Or, like, uh, yeah. Happens? At five timber per second, it stops. But then it's not even worth sitting here. Five timber a second. You're better off just getting timber yourself. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So but it basically. When do we leave? You. I. I usually leave when it gets down to like ten per second, which is like another six minutes. So. Uh, I don't know what oh you guys want to do. Wait, that's a long time. We can leave if you want. I already got 10k timber now. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck? <laughs> uh, so for the scoreboard, what are the most important ones? There's SB Warzone, there's SB Player. That shows what we currently have. And then what are the other ones that we should probably know about? Uh, SB Control Point. And then those are the, the only three point. I really use. Is Warzone, Control Point, and Player. SB hey Control guys. Point. There you mother's go. here. Uh -huh. Hey, Mom! Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Mom. It's about time you showed up. <laughs> Mom, Are you're you a bit late, man. Here? Uh, I was walking the whole way. I had no food. Oh, here, here, here. Take, take, hey, some, take some of my. Uh, yeah, I changed my name. Have a few, have a few melons. Oh, thank you. There you go, mom. Hey, no this guy just showed up. He's like, wait a minute. Who's mom? Who's dad? And who's son? No woman <laughs> law. No woman law. <laughs> man, this Aww. is such a family. I know. Aww. I love you, dads. Dude, I'm the dad. Right, get out of here. Yeah. Hi, dad. <laughs> I'm actually a mom. Actually, Wait, no so. boom in law. I didn't even see that. What? We talked about the like, We literally just said that, that out loud. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was wondering what the heck you were saying. I was like, Wait, is my mean? name no boom in law? Yeah. Yeah. I na I swear I name myself son in law. I think the nickname is glitched because no, no. boom is son. So I think it, when I nicknamed myself son in law, it became no boom. No. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Wait, let me try this. Let me try this. Remember Slash Nick. Aunt went to nickname himself daughter, and then it went daughter like or creeper, creeper farts. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So weird, wait, I, wait, wait oh. here. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to nick as uh, dad in law. What happened? Dad. 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 That's actually so cool. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, wait, wait. 
Wait, oh, is man. there so a way confused. to do this so we have a super long name with like five YouTuber names just all across in one name? How do we do that? <laughs> oh, why don't we name it slash Nick son daughter mother <laughs> oh dad? Oh, no. Alright, let's try this. Oh. No, internal error. Oh. <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> All right, so who currently has the control of the treasure mine? Is that our team or is that the other enemy team? Yeah, while we were sitting here bantering, our team actually took it. So we have treasure as well. Ooh, Ooh. I kind of want to head over there. Where's the treasure at? Treasure is located I at I think it's 47. like a thousand blocks away. Oh, frick. Oh, God, my poor <laughs> knees can't walk that far. Oh, it's wait. Too far. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, I think so I have enough timber. Is, I'm good. So treasure is eight per second. So, like, how does it ever go back up? Is there ever a way you need it to go back up? The only way is if you lose it. So, the idea is once it gets down to, like, five, no one stands there. So, then the other team just takes it, like, instantly for free. Oh, okay. And then it resets. Cool. I see. So, it kind of keeps it from, like, one team holding it forever because there's no point. Exactly. It basically makes it pointless to hold it forever, and that's, like, the fail-safe. So, no one can. Oh. Yeah. So, what about with Essence right now? Is it zero per what does that mean? Like, is that, it zero percent? That means someone's, yep, they're currently taking it. So, we're taking Essence now, too. Yes! <laughs> Wait, so if we complete the parkour event, what happens? Do we get, like, some sort of prize? Like, is there one prize to claim yeah, or what? Yeah, so whenever you complete an event or a dungeon, you get a royal war chest key, which gives you one use oh, at a is. random, like, little chest, and it'll mm -hmm. give you, like, some super piece of armor or weapon. So, it'll give you something Ooh. that's, like, overpowered. Ooh. Yeah. I want that. So uh, let's go ahead and try to complete this as a team. I mean, we'll we'll back each other up. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll complete this parkour event, and then hopefully uh, we get something good from that chest, dude. So can everybody get a war key? Yeah, everyone gets one that can be completed. Oh, baby. Perfect. Okay, here we go. I'm, I suck at parkour, though, so... Uh... This looks like a Slurpee or something. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of cool. I like Slurpee. this. <laughs> Slurpee. Slurpee. <laughs> looks so cool. we got to go to 902. Are you guys there already? Yeah, yeah we're, we're already there. Yeah. We're, we're already, already parkouring, parkouring, bro. Yeah. I'm 200 blocks away. Hold up. Make I'll be sure there your chat says that I you missed. started it. Oh, oh, come on. Yeah, it's like that corner like cuts you off. I, I just died. died. I just died. Me too. You died? I lost all my stuff. I died. <laughs> I don't even die. I don't understand how I died, but you know what? Whatever. That was weird. So it I turns felt... out you take damage in water this time around. Oh, no. Yep, I just died. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, well, now I'm scared. <laughs> Oh if, you fall, if you fall off, you insta die in the water. I just saw like five people die. Yep, and there yep. goes another oh one. Oh my <laughs> god. So, wait, so how, do I, how do I get more leather stuff though? What happens? Guys, no, I did it! Yeah, I win! You got it? Yeah! Oh, what did I get? Right, now give go. us your stuff. Oh, wait, this one didn't give me a key. It gave me 1,000 timber. That's still cool. All right, so we just got done from the war zone, taking the control point with some of my good teammate buddies there. We had a lot of them in there, actually. It was like four or five of us, a lot of good banter. And uh, from there, we got a lot of timber. We got a good amount of treasure as well, and I think we're ready to rock and roll. So let me see. We might... Did we? Oh, wow, we took so long doing that that our iron mine actually finished, even though I said it probably wouldn't this episode. So we can get the gold mine starting off now, which is awesome for us. And there we go. 5, 4, 101. Boom, shagalaka. We have the gold mine ready to go and start collecting. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. I'm going to spend my glory on getting this thing to go quicker. There we go. So we spent our first glory point ever, so we can instantly have constructed the iron mine. And now we have... Timber going, we have iron going, and we have gold going at all times. And actually, honestly, that's pretty cheap. I'm going to get timber level 2 already. So what a great first episode. I literally don't know what more to say about it. We literally got timber level 2 now. We've got iron level 1 and gold level 2. So, I mean, that's sick. And wait, can we... No, we don't have enough treasure to get iron level 2. That's for another day. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this epic episode of Siege World. If you did, try out Siege World for yourself on Dragons vs. Wizards down below in the description. And have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.